Ah, yes, the liquor store, the greatest place in town. But only for adults, obviously. If you're underage and you want alcohol, you must have a fake ID. So instead what you have to do is find an old white guy and get them to buy the alcohol for you. Listen, you little shit, I can't buy alcohol. I have morals and values. No deal, you little fuckers. You see, alcohol makes you have lots and lots of fun. There's nothing bad about alcohol, because if there was, it would be illegal. It is dynamite. So usually what happens is you have to stand there and listen to the old white man tell you a bunch of bullshit about God and Jesus and, and how if you want to have gay sex, you must go to a public men's room. That's the only place. And look at this fucking nerd with his trusty loot in his hand. Oh, never mind. I take that back. He has alcohol. He's a cool guy. That's it. It's always a good idea to drink in public in the middle of the day. Oh, and look at this. Here's his two rich white boy friends pulling up. Perfect. Now he has a ride. You see, this is Jim. Jim is rich as fuck. And Tip, he's the captain of the basketball team. He's the coolest guy in town. All the girls want to suck his pee-pee. You see, Jim and Tip want to get some pussy tonight. But they really don't know how because they're awkward and goofy. But, of course, their best friend has some alcohol. And he knows how to party. Don't be a pussy. Just have a sip. It's okay. It makes you have fun. Sure, it smells like shit and burns your insides. But it makes you have fun. And that's all that matters. So now, Tip, Tom, and Jimmy can just chill and hang out as they plot their day for getting some pussy and creeping on the bitches. See, once you start drinking, your mind becomes focused. And you can come up with the most brilliant of all plans on how to get some pussy. Like, should we creep on Betty Finn and her crew at the ice cream parlor? Or do we just show up at Sally Silly Tit's house the town whore, and see what she wants to do. Does she want to do a three-way? I don't know. Maybe we should give her some alcohol and find out. Now they're feeling it. You see, how it works is alcohol absorbs into your frontal lobe. Once it absorbs into your frontal lobe, you start making very, very intellectual decisions. And not only will you make brilliant decisions while you're drinking alcohol, it will also give you the strength of an ape. And if you play sports, this is extremely, extremely important. And here you see Frank taking a nap. It's always best to take a nap before you go creeping on the honeys. And while your friend is resting, it's always fun to just make fun of him and crack jokes at his expense. And one of the best parts of alcohol is you get to have fun dreams. We all know dreams don't always make any sense. For instance, Frankie having a dream about sleeping on the sidewalk. Apparently, that's how Frankie likes to party. He likes to sleep on the sidewalk or pretend to sleep on the sidewalk so he can look up girls' skirts. A great place to drink is the cemetery. A lot of people enjoy drinking at the cemetery. It has very good ambiance. So here we have Paul, Jim, and Tip the next day looking to creep on the girlies over at Scotty's. So when you hang out at a diner, it's always best to carry some alcohol on you. Usually a pint is good enough. Just put it in your sodas. Nobody will know the difference. Don't be a pussy, Jim. Fill her up. One of the best parts of drinking alcohol is driving afterwards. Because there's nothing more fun than driving when you're drunk. But you have to be careful. Don't drive too fast or the cops might get you. And we all know cops are scumbags. Being that Jimmy is underage, the cops are just going to give him a ride home. So, no harm, no foul. So Jimmy's white bread dad had to go to the police station and pick him up, which is no big deal. But Jim's dad is mad at him because Jim should have been smarter. Next time you drive drunk, Jim, don't drive too fast. Just like I do, after work. And unfortunately, Tip had to quit the basketball team because they were letting too many of the colored folk be on the team. 
And Tip's parents are racist, so that's not going to work. So instead, Tip's going to dedicate most of his time to drinking, which is much more fun than playing basketball. Now, even though Tip was a little upset about not playing on the basketball team anymore because of his racist parents, his friends knew a drink would make him feel so much better. Luckily, Tom, Frank, and Larry finally found some pussy. So, of course, like any gentleman, you want to bring your bitches out to the fucking sock hop and get some drinks. And as always, once the waiter leaves, it's time to get your drink on. And you see Judy here. She never had a drink, so... You know Jimmy is going to make sure she gets nice and drunk. Oh yeah. Now, for females, you want to act like you never drank before. Unfortunately, Judy here starts off good, but then she lets her fucking alcoholism slip. Fortunately, Jimmy notices that Judy is sucking it down, so he knows he's going to be getting sucked down later. Unfortunately for Judy, Jimmy is a fucking idiot. If you're underage at a restaurant and you want to bust out your alcohol, make sure you do it on the down low. Not like Jimmy, who is clearly a fucking idiot. But luckily for Jimmy, his girlfriend is an alcoholic. And that's always good if you're trying to get some pussy. Oh, just look at Judy, dreaming of wieners in her mouth. But then Judy realizes the only wiener going in her mouth tonight is Jimmy's. And Jimmy is a fucking idiot. Judy thinks to herself, God damn it, what have I gotten myself into? So Judy says, fuck it, and let him stick it in her here. Jimmy clearly likes this idea. And does not mind banging his girlfriend in front of everyone. So after watching that bang session, they decide to go on a nice, friendly drive down the street. And at this time, Sally Spunklicker decides to take a nap. Which is kind of weird, but it's her life. Jimmy can't even believe Sally wants to take a nap at this point. But Jimmy doesn't care, because he's having fun. Uh-oh! Some psychopath just pulled out in front of Jimmy. Luckily, Jimmy has the reflexes of a panther and can stop right in front of the wall. Unfortunately, Sally is a drama queen and hits her head on the dashboard. Oddly enough, Sally's still sleeping during all of this. And being that Sally is a privileged white girl from the north side of town, she gets a fun ride in the back of an ambulance. The police are like, excellent reflexes, Jimmy. Can you show us some of your moves? Jimmy shows the officers his stealth way of pointing at someone from across the room. Officer Dingleberry tells him, Wow, Jimmy, that's so awesome. I love it. And now Jimmy shows the officer how to stretch his back without bending his knees. Kip and Wiley are over here telling this cop about a cool new club that they found the other night where there's plenty of bitches at. The cop is very interested because he wants to go to the club because this cop loves bitches. And here we have a clickbait title from a news organization just trying to get views from people with this fake headline. And here we have Kip being approached by a manager who saw someone playing his loot at the local club that wants to sign him to a contract. And now that Kip's a star, he likes to go out and hang out on the Ave and creep on the honeys and find the nudie booths and strip clubs. One thing Kip does regret is not banging Sally while she was passed out after they lightly tapped the wall. Sometime Tip thinks back to all the stupid people in his life and wonders, why did they try to stop me from drinking? My life is a success now. Just in the past six months, I've gained new friends, I've banged a bunch of bitches, my band, the Black Russians, now has a contract. And what we've all should have learned from this is that not only is alcohol good, but old white people don't know what they're talking about. I mean, look at Kip here. He just signed a contract with a major label, and he plays the loot. If that's not proof enough that alcohol is good, I don't know what is. So anytime you see this sign at a store, ignore it. It's only there to ruin your dreams by old, rich, white men who want to destroy your dreams. <laughs>